सो वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस न्यू वीडियो एंड टुडे वीडियो इज़ गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वाई बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मास एनर्जी इक्विवेलेंस ओके एंड दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द फेमस इक्वेशन इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस वाई बिकॉज इट वॉज गिवन बाय द फेमस ऑल टाइम यू नो फेमस एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट साइंटिस्ट दैट इज अल्बर्ट आइंस्टाइन Albert Einstein okay he gave this equation this mass energy equivalence relation okay so to make you understand it that how it is and how it is going to use in the various kind of the concept of the science basically in relativity physics okay because in physics we also studied about the classical mechanics and relativity also because in relativity we consider mass as a variable concept so all the relativity concept was given by the albert einstein okay so based on the relativity concept we came into the conclusion that how to derive this equation the most famous and one of the historic equation in the science history okay so that is this e equal to mc square so to make you understand and to grasp your interest in this equation so let me start with a very simple and very interesting example this equation is very important in phys in physical life and in practical life because there are thousands of the example which are explained through this equation okay let me take one of that thousand examples okay so let's assume that this is your bundle of wood okay this is bundle of wood let's say the weight of this bundle of wood is 30 kg so this bundle of wood was set into the fire okay so we provide fire to it after let's say 4 and 5 hours later we checked it again that it was reduced to let's say this small ash and when we weighed this ash okay it was about let's say half kg so now the question arises this weight of the wood okay which was 30 kg was reduced for just half kg okay within the 4 5 hours when we provide fire to it okay so here the concept is that how is this possible that this huge wood okay was reduced to this ash very small amount of ash and where has this uh, 29.5 29.5 kg mass has gone okay so this was converted into energy means what in this case when we are providing fire to this wood okay so energy in the form means in the form of heat okay in the form of heat and little bit smoke smoke is not energy it's just a by product okay so majority of the product of this reaction and this kind of mechanism is heat and heat is energy so mass e equal to mc square and it's another form this equation another form derive this concept like this equation is also saying that energy and mass these are directly proportional to each other okay whatever mass is reduced in this wood that is converted into the energy form okay so this is whole concept that how the mass and energy are related to each other okay so this is one of the example i took this example to grasp your interest in this equation okay so you will be easily able to understand it how to get it point and how to derive this equation okay it is not that much tough e equal to mc square okay see guys before i tell you that how to derive this equation let me tell you we are going to use two basic concept of the physics here okay and one concept is of kinetic energy and another concept is of uh, relativity okay when we talk about the relativity application so we also consider their uh, length contraction okay and we consider that time dilation we consider their uh, this uh, mass reduction okay mass change so in relativity we consider that mass is not always a constant quantity okay as we take in the classical physics in classical physics let's say this is a body of 5 kg so we consider that uh, this 5 kg is the constant quantity okay this should be constant but in case of relativity mass is also a variable remind this guys okay and keep it this in my, your mind because this is very important concept so i am putting directly here what is the expression m equal to m0 
1 minus v square over c square so this is the expression this is very easy to calculate you can get this point through the lorentz transformation uh, equations okay and also use the linear conservation concept here so you will get easily this concept okay so i'm putting directly heat here so what does this m0 mean it is rest mass. rest mass see guys the actual mass of that body okay when it had already acquired a particular velocity okay it will be never be a constant okay it will be always a variable because it will change with respect to the velocity okay but rest mass will be always constant and it will be always the same okay so remind it keep it in the mind so this is the concept and kinetic energy what we are going to dt we know that kinetic energy is 1 over 2 mv square that we had read in the classical mechanics okay it means that in classical mechanics we had considered that kinetic energy is directly proportional to the v square okay why we take that mass as a constant quantity in case of classical mechanics okay but if we talk about the relativity it is not a constant quantity okay so this concept we are not using i am not saying that this is wrong in case of relativity but we will transform this kinetic energy equation which will be suited in case of relativity okay so let's start our derivation see guys before i der derive it so let me tell you you just be focused and visualize the concept whatever i'm telling and writing on the screen okay so let's start see guys this is your particle okay and you provided a force f magnitude to it and it was displaced let's say through a distance dx and we know that when a force is applied to anything it is displaced it means there is work done and that work done is represented by the w equal to f dx in this case since the body is in the motional okay in the uh, motion okay it means that it is displaced through the displacement okay it means it is in the motion so we know that whenever particle is in the motion it means that it is acquiring a particular kinetic energy okay because of its in the motion form okay so this work done will be equated with the small gain of the kinetic energy by the body so that is dt okay dt will be equal to f dx let's give this equation one okay so this is the small gain in the kinetic energy okay so this is one side and now we know that by applying newton 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 second law okay we know that what does newton second law says it says that force is the change in the momentum okay change in the momentum is always equal to the force okay and momentum is what we know that it is the mass into velocity put the value here mv over dt okay so guys remind one thing i told you earlier also that mass in case of relativity is never a constant phenomena okay it is never constant it is also a variable it means that when we are going to differentiate this momentum mv we will take the differentiation of mass also okay it me means mass differentiation will not be zero here in this case okay keep it in the mind because mass is not constant so m dv over dt plus so here we take the v and dm over dt okay so this is the expression put the value of this force in the expression that we got earlier that was f dx is equal to dt dt is the small change in the put the value of f here okay so m dv over dt plus v dm over dt okay and this will be dx equal to dt so dt i am putting it directly because it's very easy to solve it okay so multiply the dx inside the bracket you will get mv dv plus v square dm okay so this is the expression that we got okay it is the transformed equation for the small gain in the kinetic energy okay what is dt dt is that small gain in the kinetic energy when we had pushed or applied a force f to that particle okay so let's give the name to this equation that is second equation okay so now use the concept of relativity that is mass concept okay mass okay this mass concept is says what it says that m is equal to m naught over 1 minus v square over c square okay 
if we simplify it further so it will get m square 1 minus v square c square equal to m naught square see guys we are going to differentiate this equation also and remind this thing also here in this case i told you earlier that the rest mass of any body will never be a variable concept that will be always a constant okay which is not case with the mass which is acquired when it is moving okay so rest mass is always constant so we know that when we are going to differentiate so it will be always become equal to zero okay so let's differentiate it differentiation of this equation okay so we will get mv dv plus and this will be v square dm minus c square dm equal to zero guys i differentiate it directly because it's not that much tough to differentiate okay you can easily differentiate it so guys we remind that this mv dv v square dm is equal to what this is equal to dt that we got in the previous equation remind it okay so it will be dt minus c square dm equal to zero okay so guys the transformed or the new equation or derivation for the kinetic energy in case of the relativity okay is this c square dm okay what is guys from this equation what we can confirm okay this is that dt is directly proportional to dm because c square is constant c is the velocity of light okay that is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter second inverse so it means that the small change in the kinetic energy will be directly proportional to the small change in the mass okay that mass change is there because of the motion okay because the body is moving with uh, some velocity okay so there is change in the mass so guys see this is let's say u okay and this is let's say mass okay and let's say capital m see guys when the velocity is at rest means velocity is zero means that body is at the rest at that time we have the rest mass that is m zero when the body is moving with the velocity v we got the mass that is m okay i told you guys that relativity mass concept okay from there so now to get the total kinetic energy t we have to differentiate this whole equation uh, with the integration with the limits from m0 to m okay like this m0 to m c square dm okay so when we will do it further so it will become c square m minus m naught it means what guys the total kinetic energy is c square times whatever the mass is gained there okay m minus m0 m0 is the rest mass and m is the mass that is at the stage when we calculate or considered velocity v okay so it means that the total kinetic energy is nothing it's just that proportional to the whatever mass is gained by the body during its motion course okay so that is this m minus m0 so now let's consider this is the kinetic energy okay so we have to consider here total energy this is e is total energy what is what does mean guys total energy means it means that kinetic energy plus rest mass energy okay that is m0 c square rest mass energy is nothing it is the energy that a particular body have because of its internal you can say internal structure internal forces or internal bonding okay that provide a particular energy to the body that is called rest mass energy okay so now place the value of t and so we will get c square m minus m naught plus m zero c square okay so e equal to m c square so guys this is the equation for which we was searching okay m c square so this is the famous einstein equation okay and it is very easy to understand guys you can say that there are thousands of the example from the practical life which are based and explained through this equation or this theory of relativity okay this was one of the most important explanation or derivation that was derived by the albert einstein okay so guys this is all about 
the n mass energy equivalence okay relation so let's wind up i hope you liked our video and if so then please do like comment and share